unsure of. We didn't know whether it was going to be any good or not. We're playing 11:45 on the side stage. So you didn't know. We didn't know. We don't know. We're Canadian. We've never seen it before. So we came in and played. And had a huge crowd and it was almost a really crowd. We had to like temper them a bit because it was getting a lot of hand. Yeah, well, I wish. But, yeah. but then it, it, we get to do it, come and do it again this year, two years later. Same thing. Don't know how it's going to be. Uh, second stage and it's packed. We had a great time. Oh, yeah. I think like when the ticket sales went up, full rock on the range, like we did four days. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. so yeah. yeah. We don't realize how big, how big of a festival is, how popular it is, and it's great to be a part of it.
our fan base is organic, you know, like every you know, person who's following us on the internet is actually a fan, they're not like bought, fake, you know, bullshit, um, you know, ads that, that you can buy through, you know, those websites that do it obviously. So just all that stuff put together, you know, we're getting slow and just and, uh, make sure that you got those fan bases there to, to, to back you up. I like that. That's kind of my theory as well. That's why I don't pay for it. No, I don't like it. I mean, when you think about it, when you want to see me get some other members, if you pay for it, We, we purposely make sure that none of our YouTube videos have ads. We didn't Google, we didn't do the Google, you know, there's a thing you can sign up for and then you get all the ads put in. We took, kept all that out because that was the thing I used to love about YouTube. You could just go and watch anything you wanted, whatever you wanted. Now we're sticking commercials and it's like, oh, you're good old. Skip ad, skip ad. Yeah, and you don't have to do that with us because we don't subscribe to that idea. You all, I'm actually my favorite band is on this train. friends with Seven Dust, they took us out on our first tour of America that we did, and we've been playing with them on all these last festivals over the last full month or so, we always are doing this, we have press every time they're on stage, but we, we saw them today, so mission has already been accomplished. And a lot of the artists I want to see are happening tomorrow, we're leaving tonight to go to play our last headline show of this tour in Detroit, which is going to be a lot of fun, um, so yeah, I would love to cut at the drive-in tomorrow. So we're missing, there's a bunch of bands we're missing just because we can't be here for the whole weekend. It's just a sign of us being incredibly busy in this week that we've been on. It is, and it, again, this, this was another product of like having everything planned out properly where this tour has been in the works for, I don't know, a couple months now. We were able to do opening slots at Bobby, we were able to do opening slots for Rob Zombie, Shine Down, Black Song Cherry, all Northern Invasion, Rock on the Range, Rock on the Rock Mill, you know, and, and they hit all those things all the time. Our actual manager, Danny Day manager, is British. 